It's now been over a month of digital note taking, making the full switch from paper notes to digital note. Now that I've had some time to adjust to the entire digital note taking process, I want to share this video with you. First pro that I found with digital note taking, everything is in one single place. You have your textbooks, you have your stationaries like pens and highlighters, your notes, your lecture notes, your planner, it's all in one device. The second pro of digital note taking, because I can have all of my textbooks in one place, I don't have to carry around so many books to school. This also applies to binders as well. When I was taking my prerequisite courses for nursing school, I had so many binders for every single course, but now that I can have my class notes and lecture slides all in one place, I don't have to carry them around and it just makes things a little bit lighter. So with digital note taking, I found that there are so many ways to enhance the note taking experience. So for example, if I want to go and add pictures to notes, since I'm a very visual learner, I can do that easily by going to my internet browser and finding a picture that I like for my notes. In my note taking app, there are features that I found really useful like the lasso tool. So this lasso tool allows me to move things around and also allows me to readjust and resize my notes. There's also the zoom window, which I really like. And this zoom window is on the page while I am writing. So I don't have to readjust the size of the paper. There's also the eraser and stationary tools like I mentioned. Since these tools are accessible in the note taking apps, I can easily delete certain parts without crossing things off or whiting out mistakes like I would in paper notes. So for example, I have my term one already created for school and I can see what class is where. And as I go into my first semester, I'll know where my lecture notes are versus my post lecture notes and all of that. Now that we've talked about the major pros that I've seen from digital note taking, I will now go over the cons that have really stood out for me while switching from paper writing notes to digital notes. This is probably going to be the highest on the list because it has happened to me a few times and that is distractions. And I'm not talking about notifications and things that may pop up. If you really like aesthetics of notes and you want your notes to look a certain way, you may find that you spend a little bit more time than paper notes because you're trying to perfect your notes and make them look pretty. And the reason why you may spend more time on these digital notes is because everything is so accessible. So you have your eraser to easily correct things. You have your unlimited supply of highlighter colors. You can resize things easily. Whereas in paper notes, once it's written down, there's finality and you can't really change it back. So I think this is why I found that in the beginning of this digital note taking journey, I was spending a bit more time trying to make my notes more aesthetically pleasing. Another con of digital note taking is reliance on battery life. If you have everything on your tablet, you'll have to make Make sure that everything is already charged before you go and start your studying or digital notes. Also, this was brought to my attention recently that if you do have your digital planner in your tablet, download the note taking app in your iPhone and have it accessible that way. Again, that is a con if your battery dies for all of your devices and you can't access your textbook, your planner, your notes. The next con that I will mention, which was a big one for me as well, is the writing experience is definitely not the same as writing on paper. When I first got the iPad, I did not enjoy writing on the screen at all. It was way too glossy and the fact that it didn't catch on the surface like it would on paper was just a huge adjustment for me. There's also something so different about writing on paper that's just, it's not comparable to writing on a screen. However, I did end up getting a screen protector called Paperlike that is supposed to mimic the paper note taking experience on an iPad or a tablet. So the digital note taking experience has gotten better for me. The next con that I will mention is the cost. It's definitely more expensive to buy a tablet and stylus than obviously a paper and pen. And although it is a one-time investment, it still can add up like buying a case and a tablet sleeve a keyboard, things like that, it will definitely add up. That's something to consider as well when you're thinking about making the switch to digital note taking. Despite the fact that, you know, it's not the same as writing on paper, there are a lot more pros that outweigh the cons. Everything is so accessible. And I do love that I can sync everything in my iPhone and my computer. I do hope that this video was helpful if you are considering switching from handwriting notes to digital notes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.